All right friends, welcome back to another video on testing with Laravel and Liveware. So in this video, we'll be writing the test related to list appointment space. So let's get started writing some of the test for this page. First of all, let me open up the terminal and run the test using PSP artisan test command. And currently every test are passing. And now let me create a new test file which is inside of HTTP Liveware Admin Appointments and the List Appointments Test. So let me copy this. And let's do PSP Artisan Make Me A Test inside of HTTP. Let me change this backslash to forward slash. Appointments and then list appointments test and the file got created so now let me go to that file list appointments test let me clean this up and let's write our first test let's do public function test it can so list appointments page and to see the list appointment page we need to visit this url this get slash admin slash appointments and we assert that the status is 200 let me run this specific test using psp artisan test and then filter this test and instead of getting 200 we are getting 302 which is the redirect response we are getting redirect because to visit this admin slash appointments we need to authenticate first so for authentication let's do this acting as user factory create and let's import this class and we already have user factory so which is inside of database factories and user factory right we have this specific user now let me run the test again and we are getting no such tables because we forgot to use refresh database trait and let me run the test one more time and we are getting 403 with his unauthorized response so to visit this url we need to be admin but currently we are just logged in as normal user so to be an admin we can pass the role as admin now let me run this test again and we are passing and now let's refactor this test so instead of passing role as admin let's create another function inside of user factory which is called admin and it will return this state let's pass the closer which is array of attributes and from here it will return array role is admin and we can simply use that method over here called admin and now if I run this test then it is still passing which is perfect and instead of using assert status as 200 we can call the another method as assert ok and if I run this test again and it is still passing now let's move on writing another test public function test it shows all the appointments by default now we need to log in as admin and we need to visit this url and let's assert that we see something assert c some of the things right so to test this first of all we need to have appointments so let's create appointment using appointment 
equals appointment factory create and we don't have the appointment factory so let's create that using PSP artisan make me a factory called appointment factory let's import this class and if we go to appointment factory we have this definition and from here let's return some attributes with its value so for that we can see create appointments table and we have client ID date time status let's define here client ID for now let's say one date is now time let's say is now status let's say is scheduled and note is note and we are done now if I go to list appointment test and let's DD this appointment and let's run this test PSP artisan test filter this is specific test and it is failing it is saying that integrity constraint violations and we need to pass order position as well so let me go to appointment factory and let's pass order position as zero by default let me run this test again and we are getting the violations for client id as well so instead of passing one let's create the client and then pass the id so for that we can do client factory create and get the id let's import this one and we already have that factory or call client factory and we have this name and let me run this test again and finally we get that appointment right and we are testing that we it will list all the appointments meaning that it will list schedule as well as closed appointments so we need to create schedule as well as close appointments so for that let me go to appointment factory and create the method for schedule and closed appointments so public function schedule and it will written a similar thing from user factory let me paste that in and instead of role it will written the status is scheduled let me copy and create the one for closed as well and for the function closed it will return the status as closed and we can use that over here appointment factory create the schedule appointment and let me run this test again and we get this schedule appointments and if we call another method called closed then we will get closed appointment which is perfect so let's create two different appointments let's say appointment one for scheduled and appointment two for closed okay let me remove this and let's assert that we see appointment one client name and assert c appointment two client name and if i run this test and it is green it is passing and let's assert we see some more things assert c appointment one date this is fine and for closed appointment to make the date is different then let's pass date is now and then add day one and then over here for the assertion assert c appointment two date let me run this test again 
and it is passing and let's assert C appointment 1 status as well as appointment 2 status and let me run this test and it is passing which is perfect and now let's refactor some of the things on appointment factory so instead of passing this as a string uh, let's use constant so for that let me go to appointment class and over here let's define the constant for the status schedule is schedule and then the constant for the status of closed is closed and we can use those over here it will be appointment status schedule let me use this over here as well and over here as well S status closed which is fine let me run this test again and it is passing now let's write another test to verify that it can show schedule appointments so let me copy everything from here and let's change this to test it can so schedule appointments so we are logged in as admin and we have uh, one appointment is scheduled and another is closed and if we visit this URL with the status of schedule and we assert that we only see this schedule appointments so assert see appointment one client name but let's assert we don't see appointment two client name which is the closed appointment right so over here let's assert don't see and assert don't see and let me run this test PSP artisan test filter specific test and we are getting the issue and to know more details about this test uh, let's run this test without exception handling so for that we can do this without exception handling and if I run this test again then we are seeing different output right so it is saying that on define array key scheduled inside of list appointments dot blade dot PSP and which is on line number 102 so let me go to list appointments dot blade dot PSP and let me go to line 102 and over here we are calling status of base and if we go to appointment dot PSP on line 36 appointment dot PSP line 36 and over here we are returning this as a capital letter right so instead of using this one let's use the constant which is this and then status a closed for the first one let's say scheduled and the second one this status is closed and let me run this test again and it is failing on this line which is assert down see appointment to status so let me go to list appointments test so instead of assert c uh, this status let's say we see that specific html content so for that let me go to list appointments and over here uh, let's assert that we see this specific uh, span right so for that let me go to list appointments and over here we can do assert c and then we can pass span with the class of badge and then badge primary and the status will be scheduled right and we'll be closing that span tag 
let me remove this and we can do the same for closed as well assert down C bez and for the closed one it is success and then closed now let's run this test and we are failing on this line 52 to assert that we see this specific HTML content so to test uh, that we see this HTML content we need to pass these skip arguments is false okay by default it is true so let's do that and we can pass this as false and if I run this test again and it is failing so it is returning capital letter over here so instead of this capital let's use the small letter for the schedule and then closed and it is passing which is perfect let's write the same test for the closed appointment as well so let me copy everything from here paste it and with let's test that it can show closed appointments and if we visit this url with this query string as the status is closed and over here let's make this as appointment one let me copy this one and then use it over here and let's say this is appointment two and the first appointment is closed and the second appointment is scheduled right and we assert see that we see that closed appointments we don't see that uh, a schedule appointment client name we see closed appointment dead but we don't see schedule appointment dead and this html uh, content as well so instead of assert c as a schedule we need to change this to closed and then schedule and let me run this test php addition test filter and it is not passing so let me fix that and for the closed appointment the class is success and for the schedule it is primary and now it is passing now let me run the whole test suite once again php artisan test and everything is passing which is perfect so this must for this video so in the next video we'll write a few more tests related to this list appointment page so stay tuned so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one